The education minister, Mr. David Mawamba, has been rendered jobless today by the President, the Republican President of Zambia, Mr. Edgar Chagwalungo. You might have a question, why did the president decide to do such a thing? Well, it is a well-known fact. There is a story that has been circulating on social media right now in different, on different platforms here in Zambia, particularly, while well, perhaps even worldwide, this story has reached far. As you know how social media now, right now uh, works. Well, once you, you, you might be here in Zambia, but you find that it, the, it has already reached America, it has reached, already reached other parts of Africa because it's so viral, it can go through the air. see very sad indeed as a minister as a family man as an elderly person as someone whom people were looking up to because we are not just talking about a minister here but we are talking an, about an elderly person about someone who has a family about someone who's got a wife about someone who's got children now you can imagine what is going on in the minds of his children right now you can imagine what is going on around his wife she must be in pain right now she's going through a lot because of what the minister has done well we just want to find out where do you think the minister is right now Well, according to the information that we have on the ground right now, the, the, the former minister, Mr. David Mabumba, has been admitted right now. Yes, you got me right. He's been admitted. Why? Because he attempted to commit suicide. Perhaps why would you even think of committing suicide? I feel maybe the pressure was just too much for him. He felt to say, I cannot handle this. He felt, no, there's just too much shame. I cannot handle. How am I going to answer my wife? What am I going to explain to my wife? What am I going to explain to my children? Well, those kind of stuff. This is the reason why you need to be very, very careful with the people that you are dealing with on social media. They might be your friend, but you don't know who's going to stab you on the back. So you got to be very, very careful on this one. Be very, very watchful of what you are doing on social media. As we are talking right now, the former minister is in the hospital. He has been admitted because he, he, committed, he wanted to commit suicide. Where is this lady? Obviously, he was not alone. When he was making this video call, he was talking to someone. And we all know that he was talking to, uh, to a lady. But this lady hasn't been spoken of so much. We are only hearing about the minister. It's as if the minister was alone in this video call. But as you know, you can't make a video call without somebody. So the minister automatically, he was talking to someone. And the someone he was talking to, this was a lady. But the lady seems to be very, very mute. It seems this time the tables have completely turned down. Because in most cases, we have had And we have proven this. In most cases, it's only women who are being talked about. When such kind of a thing happened, women are being talked about in most cases. But in this one, it seems like the, the minister is making headline. It seems like the minister is just being spoken about. Everybody wants to know who this man is. Everybody wants to know about the minister. Wow, this is what has happened. And we must be very, very careful, especially for those of you who are holding bigger positions, not only in government, but everybody everywhere there are those of you who are well respected in your community once you misbehave once something happens this is what will happen you'll be famous even for doing something that is very very wrong this is what has just happened to our minister of general education mr david mawamba well very sad news there we go and the president has appointed 
Dr. Dennis Wanchinga to the Minister of Education, pupils, teachers, as well as all Zambians have been disappointed by the former Minister of Education. Well, who wouldn't be disappointed? Because this is a man who was supposed to save, to live his life as a law model, not only to the nation of Zambia, but to his family, to the pupils, being as a general education minister, he was supposed to be an example, a good example for that matter. That should serve as a warning to all social media users, because what has happened to the minister could happen to you, could happen to someone out there. The minister might not have intentions of exposing himself like that, but wow, it has happened. So this should serve as a warning to those of you who are using Facebook, WhatsApp, Vibe, Twitter, and different types of uh, media platform, YouTube, whatever that you are using, you just have to be very, very careful with the people that you are sending information to. Keep your information to yourself. In any case, why would he even make such kind of a video? I wonder. of people have benefited positively through social media yes a lot of people have benefited positively through social media but we are seeing again a lot of people are losing marriages yes a lot of people are losing their relationships there are a lot of breakups there are a lot of divorces the number of divorce cases in zambia not only in zambia but worldwide it is increasing especially to those who are misusing social media Social media is there not for us to misbehave. It's not there for us to start doing bad vibes or start doing bad things. But it is there for us to access information very easily. You can just imagine I'm here in Zambia, but I'm able to know what is happening in America. That is what social media can do. But if we are going to go viral and start doing things like the way the ministers done, well, that is what will happen. In the end, we are going to be imbalanced. We are going to be ashamed of ourselves. We therefore urge the family, especially the children. He might have done this long, but he's still our father. He's still there. He has been there for us. He might have done this long, but I urge you, the children of Mr. David Mabumba, be strong in this trying moment. Be courageous and show the old man some support that, is, yeah, that, that, that he deserves in this trying learning moment that he's going through right now. We can only say one has to change and this change has to be for the better when we talk about change change has to be for the better we all want to change but change should be for the better to those of you who are using social media right now be wise use it collectively. don't misbehave don't send your pics anyhow don't send your videos anyhow they say your reputation is better than expensive perfume. That's what the Bible says. Your, ex, your, your reputation is better than expensive perfume. So you must guard your reputation at all cost. See whom you are sending your videos to. And this shows to say, be very, very careful. You might not know who's going to stab your back. You don't know who is against you. You don't know who's going to expose you. You don't know who's going to bling out your secret. As they say, it is no longer a secret. As long as you've told one person, it is no longer a secret. This has been your brother and friend, Uncle Isaac on Young Future TV. I urge you, please, to subscribe to our channel. Stay blessed. Because of the guidelines that you have here on YouTube, we cannot show you the exact naked video and for that we do apologize.
but we urge you still to continue subscribing if you want to learn more and hear more about this story how it's going to go how it's going to end where this man is the more updates they subscribe we we'll continue giving you feedback continue giving you more information